Anthony Hudson here for the clash between Fremantle and Collingwood. Football back at Optus Stadium. What great weather we have here today. A reasonable turnout for this match. Gary Lyon joins me for this match. Welcome, Gaz. What a game we've got today, Hutto. There really has been a big build-up for this clash. Today's match between Fremantle and Collingwood. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. It's a big day for the Collingwood defenders. They can stop Fremantle from being dominant inside 50. They've got a big chance to win this. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. Good call, Hutto. Captains make their way to the middle for the toss. Collingwood wins the toss. Round 19. We prepare for what shapes as an enthralling contest here today. And here we go, it's Fremantle taking on Collingwood. Mundy just dismissed the tackler, wants to keep it moving. Side bottom has an injury. Gary, what do you think it is? He's coming from the ground now, Hutto, but it didn't look great. He has to hold on to those. Here's going for number one. Crisp with the responsibility of kicking it in. Uses it now. Ace couldn't hang on to the ball. It's a turnover. He's got the football now. Phillips collects the kick. Grundy gets in a good position. He can take off after that handball. Barco hangs on to that one. Just gets the kick away. Goes off the ground. The kick connects to the post. up on the scoreboard. Demand looking for options now. Decides to play on. Got boot to ball. Got hands to it. Langdon heads for home. Collingwood fans getting excited about that one. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. Smiles all round. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Just gave it away. Pendlebury sends it into space. Dug out the loose ball. Law pushes his opponent off with one hand. Movement by hand. McCarthy going for number one. Lining up on a bit of an angle here is Cox. It'll be all tied up if he kicks this one. Pretty happy with that one. Tight contest here. Scores locked up. The game is back underway. Slapped away. Hughes earns a free kick. A low stabbing kick. Cox gets the loose ball. We'll get a ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Receives the handball and takes off. Adams presents and takes the mark. 50 metres out. He likes his chances from here. No issues with that drop pass. Gets his first. Adam loves that goal. Collingwood can't buy one goal. That's a really good team goal. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal.
Back in the middle. Has the rucks go at it. Rough air gets onto the ball. Just sends it into space. He just throws that ball. Kick by Blakely. Marks now and can send it back. Puts it on the boot. Great mark under pressure. Moves the ball along the wing. A great mark taken there. Trelaw with the opportunity at goal. 45 degree angle. He heads for home. A long effort at goal. And it goes all the way. Congratulated by his teammates. Collingwood have kicked the last two goals. Collingwood looking good early on. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. About to resume hostilities. Rough edge won the duel. Pendlebury goes off the ground. Just put it on the boot. He takes the mark. Chose to kick it. Is accepted. Wins possession. He can take off after that handball. Broomhead found some space and marked. Barco scoops it up. Puts on the afterburners. Collingwood are happy about that one. That's his first. They get around him after that effort. Collingwood have three in a row. Collingwood by three goals. Gathered by Phillips. The umpire calls for a stoppage. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Phillips won himself a free. The mark is taken by Chris with a driving kick. Demand doesn't take the mark. Collier goes for territory. Free kick. Slick with the hands. Demand the little one too. McCarthy just threw it. Sharon Berg uses it by foot. Gets into some space to mark this. Trelaw kicks hard along the boundary line. Beam just put it on the boot. The ball's knocked loose. Banfield coming on. We'll have another ball up. Thump clear. Law soccer's the kick. Walters gains possession. Sends it clear of the contest. Finding the loose ball. Wajera decides to kick. Tabernard takes a strong mark. 25 metres out. Moving on. He slams it towards goal. Fremantle produced the margin. Looking to bring it back into play. Chris plays it to himself. Sinks the slipper into it. Gets into a good position to take that. Hoskinelli kicks it. Good man. And looks to send it back. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. The loose ball picked up. Sharon Burke unable to hold on. Go for goal number one. The ball ends up going to ground. Chris deciding where to go with the kicky. Chris kicks hard along the boundary line. Phillips opts to play on. Nobody can hold on here. Hoskinelli a bit too casual with the tackle. Cox didn't mark it. And we'll get a ball up. Wins the ruck duel. Collingwood has started well and lead at quarter time. The Magpies are up and about early, and I bet the coach would be happy with this lead at quarter time.
Trelaw on top of the ranking points. He's having a fantastic game. The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. Back with another centre bounce. Grundy just swats it away. The ball in the hands of Lobb. Hogan finds his man on the move. The bounce made it tough for Walters. Matera steals possession. Side bottom releases by hand. Pendlebury drives it long. Barco marks in a bit of space. Collingwood are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. them celebrate that effort now they lead by 22 back in the middle to resume play clears the contest the ball mopped up Thomas throws the ball away moved on by Hogan Wilson got under it Collingwood just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into and as a result they haven't been able to earn any set shots inside field Mark by Moore Goes with the kick. Langdon determined to reach the ball. Decides to soccer it. Kick by Jarenberg. The loose ball scooped up. Ace ran it best. Mops up the loose ball. Manufactures the handball. Slams it onto the boot. Gets the loose ball. He decides to go for home. Darts it through for another. Celebrating hard. Collingwood beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 37 to 9. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. The game is back underway. Thumps it clear. He's got the footy in his hands. Kolya shrugs off the tackle. Well taken at ground level. Marks now and can send it back. Collingwood just can't seem to retain possession of the footy. They're getting outmarked all over the ground and as a result find themselves losing this contest. Chips it towards half board. Takes that one strongly. Slams it on the boot. Finds the loose ball, gathers it now. Beams, hurried kick. Broomhead collects the loose ball. Takes on the space. Oh, just hits the post. Collingwood with the edge right now over Fremantle. Demand plays on, keeps it moving. He has the ball. Beam gets a quick kick away. The ball spills to Wilson. Looks like the ball will be coming back. A chance to put one through here for the Magpies. Appleby collects the kick. Takes a simple grab. 45 metres out. Beam going for number one. That's something to smile about. He celebrates hard after that. Collingwood doing well at the moment. About to resume play. Ruffin with the hit. Wasting a lot of effort there. It's cut off by Hughes. Just dismisses his opponent. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Putting this one through would give Fremantle plenty of confidence. Going for goal number one. The long kick ended up being beyond him. Let's them down there. Fremantle still a fair way back here. Collingwood have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. A chance to reload the attack now. Collingwood haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Ruffin was taken high in the tackle. 
It has to be a big kick to get it from there. He goes it alone. Doing well to intercept that kick. Hamling hacks it forward. A great mark taken there. Brace your tucks it into the pocket. Wilson found some space and marked. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. The kick goes out on the full from Brayshaw. Ace dug out the loose ball. Ball picked up. Demand hit the man hard. Applying the physical pressure. Manages to get a hand away. Gone! What a tackle! Showing some really good pressure there. A solid mark from Trelaw. Trelaw has resources out wide. Elects to kick. He gets above the crowd. Barco will have to put everything into this one. Moves it by foot. Beam runs after the ball. Lob hacking it out of there. Chris with a penetrating handball. Scharenberg hacks it out of there. An easy grab for Thomas. Simply outplayed his opponent. 45 metres out. Barco going for number two. Started the kick line and it never came back. 35 points the difference. Demand looking to bring it back into play. Gets around Mr. Invisible. Nice. Players move as they look to provide an option. He looks like he needs a spell. Demand tucks it into the pocket. Beams looking to put through another goal. He's excited about that one. Collingwood, but 42. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. We are approaching half time. Fremantle need to be far more competitive with their clearance work. They can't win games that way. Akers hunted him down. Outstanding pressure. Go for goal number one. Maynard leading the race to the loose. An intriguing first half as it stands. Collingwood 52, Blake Fremantle 10. Collingwood have had a good first half. I think they'd really love to stamp their authority on this contest in the second. What can you tell us from the stats, Gaz? It's been a clearance game and right now Collingwood are on top in that area. Thank you very much, Gaz. An exciting second half to come. See you again for the third quarter. The third quarter about to get underway. About to resume hostilities. One down. With the ball now. Strong mark in the contest. It's a long kick. The ball goes to ground. Well, this game is really getting out of hand. Thump by Grundy. Penn will be there to mop up. The umpire calls for it. Swats it. He's got the footy in his hands. Pretty lucky to get that free. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping he can put this one through the big sticks. Trelaw right on the edge of his range. They can create from this. The kick from eight. Under pressure and keeps it alive. Couldn't go on with it. Ball goes out. The ball is coming back into play. Grundy aims for his man on the ground. Ryan controlled the difficult ball. Shows some physicality. Sees it over the boundary line. Thomas running off for a break. Umpire tosses it in. May collects it, slick with the hands, wins possession. May misses everything with that kick. Not happy with that kick as it goes out on the full. Hughes uses it by foot. Needs a bit of a rest. May won himself a free.
Going for goal number one. Nurses that ball through the big sticks. No doubt about it. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Collingwood could have kicked eight goals without reply. The lead is now 48. Giving it off was Hindlebury. Trelaw kicks hurriedly. Good body work to win the mark. 30 metres out. About to take the kick. Side angle. Going for goal number one. He kicks that goal with purpose. Of course, Hunter. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around. Elliot Collingwood could have kicked nine in a row. 54 points the difference. Taken well at ground level by Walters. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Another goal here and this game can be well and truly over. Walters hacking it out of there. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Looks up with the kick. Ball gets cut off. Hurried kick. Finding the loose ball was Langdon. Finds this and marks well. Collingwood just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Did well not to confuse himself. Phillips has a teammate on the move. Clears the congestion. Does well to cut off the kick. Side bottom tries to gain some territory. Pendlebury looking a bit sluggish out there. Broomhead missed an opportunity to mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. He takes the mark quickly under the boot. Intercepts the ball well. Now with a low spearing kick. Scoops up the ball. At full stride, receives the handball. Ends up turning this ball over. Chris goes with the kick. Takes it well. Appleby moves it now. Matera puts on a big hit. Matera was taken high in the tackle. Going for goal number one. The kick just clears the line. Needed goal for Freeman. Matera loved kicking that one. The Dockers now only trail by 48. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Collingwood are getting plenty of marks with loose players. They're really able to control the game and move at their own pace. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Ends up marking uncontested. Ryan puts it on the boot. Finds a target. That's holding the ball. Appleby gets right on his face. Great tackling technique. A mark by Chris. Chris has resources out wide. The advantage is paid. Side bottom drives the kick. Pierce looking to track down the footy. Sends it clear of the contest. Goes off the ground. Collects the loose ball. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Hogan going for number one. Hits the ball. Fremantle close the gap to 47. Chris unsure of the next move. Plays on from the kick in. Opportunity for Elliott. Wins the race to the ball. Giving it off with Moore. Just gets it onto the boot. A chance to reload the attack now. Hamlin kicks it. And the boundary line wins. It's just a bit lacklustre out there for my liking. Ryan dug out the loose ball. The free kick going to Ryan. Lining up for goal. Big kick required from this distance. Puts boot to ball. Great mark in the pack. 
40 metres out. Chalk a goal up for men. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. Kolya lifts his teammates with that goal. He's enjoying that goal. Fremantle can get him beaten at the coalface. They need to rectify these clearance numbers to give themselves the best chance going forward. Three-quarter time. Collingwood, 64, plays Fremantle, 23, a quarter of footy to go. Collingwood walk into three-quarter time with the lead and the confidence they can win this game. Trelaw, the number one ranked player on the ground. He's on fire at the moment. One quarter of footy to go. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. Won it down. He has the ball. Did well not to confuse himself. Mops up the loose ball. Releases the handball. Dug it out. Manages to get out the handball. Side bottom wins it back. Ball collected. He lays off the pass. Ryan gathers it now. Well collected, with quick hands. Has it now. Ball hits the deck. The ball mopped up. Tackle, knocks the ball loose. Hoskin Elliott collects the loose ball. Sharon Berg marks uncontested. And now Beams, quickly onto the boot. Long kick there. Will it go all the way? It does. Three goals so far. Great stuff. His teammates rush over. Back in the middle. Has the rucks go at it. Grundy got in a better position. Side bottom heading to the bench. Ball up in the centre square. Right now I'm only seeing one team really putting their all into this contest. Getting in the way was McCarthy. He gets another possession. Ball up call. Tap down. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Winning it was Darcy. Phillips puts it to his advantage. Drops the ball. Kicks in heavy traffic. Scoops up the ball. A free kick to Collingwood. Moves the ball by foot. Seen plenty of it. My ball, says the umpire. Guides it down. Now we'll get a ball up. Grundy slaps it away. Somehow got the ball out. Slams it onto the boot. Appleby did well to win that ball. Looks to move it by foot. Marks all alone. Doesn't waste any time. Hughes got hands to it. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Kick by Collier. A chance to gather the ball. Locke will be the recipient of the free. Goes by foot. Easily takes the mark. He drives it. Terrific mark there. He drives it towards goal. Great grab. Collingwood can have been able to set up any set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning title that way. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Broomhead applying physical pressure. That's a massive kick. Ace applies the tackle. Great tackling there, Hutto. Grundy thrashes it. Right on the ball. Cox wins the ball in the air. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Ready to bring it back into play. It's just smashing out there at the moment, and it could get worse. Taps it down. 
Ace might have overworked himself there. Just through the ball. Works it across the ground. McCarthy doesn't quite with the leap. Chris goes to the man on the run. Practicing some fancy moves. Collected by Wilson. Intervening brilliantly was Grundy. Hands that ball to the opposition. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Stabs at the kick. Marks in a bit of space. Wilson links up with a chance to run. A bit too hard with a push. And it's a free kick. Uses it by foot. Picked off the deck. He gets another possession. Makes it somebody else's problem. Wants to keep it moving. Marks now and can send it back. Collingwood just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Elliott has a chance to put a second goal on the board. Smiles all round. Margin getting dangerous now. Centre bounce. Won the hit out. With the ball is Mundy. Turned it over. Pierce just threw it. Moves the ball by foot. A lot of possessions for him. Thank you. One down by Ruffhead. We'll have a ball up close to the boundary line. Taps it down. Decides to keep it alive. Kicks hurriedly. Darcy puts the handball out in front. Acres now. Brayshaw looking a bit sluggish out there. Collier just threw it. Trelaw doesn't want to let his teammates down with this kick. This will certainly test him from this distance. The kick for Ryan. Good mark there. Collingwood haven't been able to set up any set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect the forward to kick a winning title that way. Moved on by Akers. Monday not getting much of it, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hutto. Ball up on the outer side wing. The sting has been taken out of the game right now. Hoskin Elliott turns a free kick. If they just maintain possession and hold onto the ball for a moment, they should be able to hold on here. Not a great performance today. And in the end, a disappointing result. Three men. Just a fantastic performance from Collingwood. They really put in the hard yards and they can enjoy the result. Final scores are 76 to 24. That's the end of today's broadcast. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Well, thanks for having me. That's all we have time for. We'll see you next time.